everyone welcome back so in the previous video we have assigned roles to the users in this case we have assigned uh, business administrators to user 2 and uh, the global reader role to user 2 but difference here is for the administrator role there is no approval required whereas for global reader there should be an approval which is required by user 3 because he was assigned as an approver so let's go ahead and see how it works so let me minimize this so let me go to the privilege identity so in this case let's go ahead and uh, log into the user too right now this is my default uh, pane so let's go ahead and so actually i've already uh, log into user 2 so this is the user 2 and uh, since we for user 2 there is a billing administrator role that we have assigned as well as global reader as well as security administrator role so we have assigned these three roles to this user 2 whereas the billing and uh, global readers are having some time limits whereas the security is a permanent role uh, according to the docs so let me go back let me go to the privilege identity management and you can click my roles so you can see these are the three different roles that we have assigned and uh, for the billing administrator it doesn't require any approval so for instance if you just click active here so it's checking the validation so initially when you're trying to do it will be asking for MFA so multi-factor authentication where you need to scan the QR code and uh, uh, make sure it's active in your phone so the reason would be uh, for my daily duties so for my daily duties I need this uh, building administrator role so I just need to click active here so since this doesn't require any approval it will be done by its own so there will be three different stages where the, it's processing and validating and finally it will be in active stage so this is the first example of uh, activating the role without uh, requiring any approval so once this is done uh, let's go to the task 2 which is activating a role that requires an approval well it takes some time for the approval it's validating so you can see it has been uh, successfully done and uh, you can just try to refresh it so since we have activated the building administrator role you can see in the active assignments so you can see there is a building administrator role which has been activated but we couldn't see uh, the other role since we are we have not yet activated them so let me do it for global reader so as you can see there is approval for uh, global uh, reader which is user 3 so only when user 3 approves we are eligible for that particular role and do the particular operations related to that particular role so let's activate this and uh, you have to give some uh, you know just justification why you require this particular role i'll use same need for my job duties so when you click activate there should be an error because i already uh, requested this so since the user 3 is administrator for that you just need to go and uh, uh, you know go to the user 3 so let me show you the path so you just need to go to the privilege identity management and here you can see my request I'll go back approve request so refresh this so these are the requests that i have done so to activate it you just need to click the column that you want to activate so the 
perform my daily duties and just need to click approve so once it is approved you can see it in uh, active pane so the justification is uh, for his daily duties so you can write any proper justification if you want so so you can see the user tool is been approved so let me go here and uh, let me go to the sign just try to refresh it let me do this so this is for You can see now uh, we have the global reader here since we have uh, given permissions from user 3 user 3 has approved it so we have got it in the active assignments so if you want to deactivate uh, deactivate this particular rules you can do that by just clicking deactivate so you can just click deactivate and uh, click deactivate since we have just done right now it's in process so that is the reason I couldn't deactivate it takes at least five to ten minutes uh, to perform your operations let me go back and uh, for security administrator even there is no uh, approver for this so we can directly approve it so I just need to click and you can see there is an additional verification required so you just need to click and uh, you have to enter the code in your authenticator so let me open my application so once you approve it it will be in uh, approved uh, pane so let me add the code for user 2 it's uh, eight seven eight five seven click verify and i say no so let me give a justification for the security administrator so for security just adding some random text so click activate so similarly it is done by its own like uh, similarly for the billing administrator so since we have not assigned any uh, approver for that role it doesn't require uh, you know uh, following the other process where you need to approve it so so once it's done you can uh, see it in this active assignments so if I to the active assignments you can see there is three roles which are there so this is how you can uh, perform the operations so let me show you the global reader as well so if i go back privilege my role sorry so if you go for the global reader so if you go to the settings here you can see there is an approval for this which is user 3 so anyone who needs access for this particular role uh, this person has to approve that whereas if we talk about security administrator for this there is no approver so if you check here there is no approver so that is the reason we doesn't require any uh, approval for this and it can be by it can be done uh, you know within few minutes without any approval so yeah i hope you guys understood the concept here for the exercise 2
and in the next video we'll be talking about xs3 and xs4 so if you like the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys